Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. Unfortunately, we have disabled Revelations for now. It has not gone for good, however. We will come back to it every now and again, especially if it gets any updates. But for now, we're back to a more stable, more heavily modded, mega modded series. But, I do have a little bit of a surprise to join back into the Fiend Folio series. The Punished and Samuel. Samuel? How do you pronounce his name? Have been added to the series. So... We are going to play as them, because yeah, they've been added, you can see the thumbnail is amazing, thank you again Never Named, but we've got this amazing melee based character, which I actually don't really know how this guy works very well, I'll be honest, I've only played him a handful of times, chance to give a blue wisp, that's pretty good early on, I don't know what Falcon will do for us here, um, okay, it did some good stuff, it did some good stuff, um, from what I remember, we can charge this to throw it, uh, like a projectile, it's, um, pretty good. It has quite a lot of synergies, this thing. Uh, I'm probably going to just keep throwing at this, actually. And then we also have the um, Malak Mot, I think that's what it's called. Malak Mot, which is, I believe, like a rage mode that gives us some invincibility and some increased fire rate. So, pretty good. But yeah, really, really fun character. He's been a character since the early days of Afterbirth Plus, actually. He's been uh, a character that I've been wanting to add to the series for a long time, but I... I've done something that is rather silly <laughs> in the fact that I've um, opted to do custom thumbnails for every character, which, in my opinion, is very good. It, uh, for me, at least, it gives my uh, my channel a brand identity that's very unlike any other. I don't know of a single other channel out there that has the same gimmick. Um, how exactly are we doing this? Oh, I see, I see. We gotta do that. We gotta do that. We gotta do... Uh, there, there you go. Okay, nice. We good. Um, yeah. I don't know of any other channels that do anything similar. There might be one or two out there, but I feel like um, I did it at the get-go of Repentance, so <laughs> not that I've trademarked it, but I think it's like a unique thing of my channel. <coughs> and it does have some, it does have some upsides and some downsides. Like the upsides are they look really fucking amazing, and they're like I said, they're very unique to my channel. Um, the downside is that. It can be a little bit um, off-putting to new people because it makes it. It's not as like if you see if you just see a, a modded character like the the thumbnail as is as as I would do with my custom character series, then it's a little more inviting, I think. Whereas if it's like a, a branded sort of thing, it might not be quite as inviting. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it in that regard. Um, but. Uh, I really like having it, and yeah, I have kind of screwed myself over a little bit with it, though, because while it is fantastic, ooh, that's, that's also pretty good, but I'm really liking these wisps, to be honest. Um, it does kind of screw me over a little bit, because if I want to add someone new to the series, it is a little bit, well, I say a little bit, it's quite a lot more effort for, um, the artist that I ask to, uh, to do it. Never Named has been kind enough to be taking on the task, but obviously... Normally it would be Skull. Skull has just taken a little bit of a step back from um, from being an artist as of late, and I've kind of been giving him a bit of a break. He suggested working with some other artists and stuff, so I have been. But obviously I still appreciate the um, the art that he's done so far, and I'll still use him for other things in the future because he is extremely, extremely talented, as is never named. Um, but yeah, it does mean that whenever I... Okay, so let's use this now. Yeah, it gives us a, a hyper speed. Did it give us flight as well? Three golden hearts and one heart container, that's decent. Um, and we will keep on heading down. We do have another room over there. I'll go check that out real quick. I feel like it'd be a bit of a shame to leave that behind. But yeah, so no revelation flaws right now, but the game should hopefully be a lot more stable. Hey, I'm very glad that I did go and check this out, because now I can hopefully get a tinted drop or two. Do you know what? That is actually even better than I was expecting. So, we have one Tinted Rock here. We also had another one back over that way. That is a lot of Soul Hearts. Okay, we are doing very well on HP so far. Where was the other Tinted Rock? I don't remember. Up this way, maybe? Yeah, there it is. Like having this on me. Wow. <laughs> We're leaving the first floor very set. <laughs> we are, actually, in fact, let's go to our cash room here. Um, which we are going to lose a golden heart to do, but oh well. I've got so much excess HP that I'd rather check it out. So, I was about to say, we can't melee to grab that, unfortunately. Oh, 
Okay. So we did lose a good we lost two golden hearts there, but at least we got to use one of them. Okay, we'll pop this pill. We get relax. Good stuff so far, but yeah, we're hoping we can get some good synergies with this guy going on. Um, there is definitely some interesting ones out there. Brimstone, technology, stuff like that, all have their own unique synergies. And I'm sure there'll be some modded items that have some weird interactions with this guy. There might not be bespoke interactions, but definitely weird ones. I haven't even got into the question of the day yet. What we got here? The camera. That is an active, unfortunately. Creates a camera flash that destroys projectiles and stuns enemies. Granted, tears up when you flash yourself. If enough enemies are caught, spawns a cool photo. It's new, we'll try it out. Mr. Boom is good, and I would like to carry it on with me, especially not having any bombs. But this is something that's different, and I'd rather try something different, something new, um, if I can. Right, let's make our way down. We didn't get a key, unfortunately, so we can't go down to the alt floors quite yet. Um, we'll get there in a little bit, if we want to go that way, that is. We might end up sticking on the normal path. Um, but yeah, as for, um, as for question of the day... What's some what's some folklore that um that you know to be um like based around where you're from? And mine isn't exactly folklore, it's 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 more actually true. Um <laughs> but I still think it's interesting anyways and it has a lot of variations. Um the the one for me is where I'm from is a city called Hull in the UK. Um and it is known to be the birthplace of syphilis. <laughs> It is known to be um, the first, like, it's it's not exactly, like, where it originated, but it is the first place that, um... Oh, there you go, we stun the enemies like that, it's cool. And we can give ourselves a tears up by taking a picture of ourselves. So if we do... Ah. Oh. It's kind of hard to take a picture of yourself. Oh, wait, ha Hmm. I need to try and find a better way to take a picture of myself. Damn it! I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna play around with this and see if I can get it to work. Ow! Eh, it's kind of hard to take a picture of yourself with this thing. Meh. Whatever. We'll just use it as is. I, I kind of thought it'd be a flash that hit the whole room at first, but it is not. We need to use our uh, our, our little pocket active a little bit more here. I think. It's very very strong. Ow. Gotta be a little careful with it though, not walk into enemies. That's a double luck penny drop. Wow. That is pretty awesome. I do like the stunning effect of it though. That's really nice. We do have some bombs now for this. We have a, uh, a key for our item room now as well. But yeah, I was watching a documentary before. I'd, I'd heard little like things about it before. Like, um, where, like the, the, the city that I'm from is it's generally known in the UK to be a little bit scummy. <laughs> no, no disrespect to the city, but it's known to have a lot of chavs and stuff. Um, and so one of my friends where I live now um, spawns a familiar that moves by jumping from tile to tile. 28 damage is dealt upon landing. A familiar lands directly. 40 damage is dealt. Nice. Okay, that's, that's decent. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the little animation it's got there. Uh, yeah, um, my friend kind of takes the piss and says that like, <laughs> oh, um, like, about having for syphilis and being the birthplace of syphilis sort of thing. And I was, like, I'd heard it before, but I'd never really thought there was any legitimacy to it. Um, and like I said, it's not really folklore as such, but we don't really have as much folklore in the UK as I think it's the best, the best adjacent thing to it. Um, yeah, it's apparently, like, the first place where documented cases of syphilis occurred. Because I didn't know this. Hey, there's a cool photo. Um, because I didn't know this, but, like, um, syphilis, like, can affect your bone structure, um, in, like, extreme cases. So, ooh, blue map is very nice for us here. So, like, basically there's, there's, like, fossil records. I don't know what exactly call it, fossil records, but there's, um, like, bodies that have been found with these disfigurements that, that prove they had syphilis. And the, the earliest dated versions of those are found were found in Hull. Um, I think they were underneath the church or something along those lines. Not like in a normal graveyard. It was, um, looks to be like, um, monks or, not monks, whatever, um, priests that had it. So I don't know what they were getting up to, but, um, yeah, uh, very interesting to find out. Wow, you, you, you lot died fast though. Holy hell. Um, that's potentially good. I guess we will go Devil Deal here. Um, empty Vessel's pretty good. That's pretty good. So far, this run is, uh, is popping off. 
and we don't have a key again. So I guess no alt path for us this time around. But yeah, it just feels nice to be on a run that is hopefully going to be relatively stable for us. Hopefully we can get some bombs. But this is an XL floor, which is kind of unfortunate because we lose out on a majority of our ability to um, get bomb into secret rooms because we lose out on two secret rooms and a shop. Ooh, hello. We've got to remember that that's there. This doesn't last very long, but it does seem to charge up reasonably quickly, though. Ooh, also something that I need to do. Um... Right, one second. Clear out this. I need to go back and do the um, unlock all thing. What, what, what's the command again? R plus unlock all? Okay. And it should actually save now. The bug was fixed. But I also do need to check this menu as well. Repentance plus unlocks. Yeah. All of these are unlocked now. Good, good. Right, that should, should save now. Before it wasn't saving correctly. Now it should be. Yeah, I am loving this character. It was a rather interesting documentary, actually. I don't think it was specifically about that. I think it was just about, like, some, like, medical... The medical history around, like, the UK and stuff, and it just kind of got brought up, and I was like, oh, shit, so I ended up doing some, like, extra research into it, because I'm like, oh, how legitimate is it? Because, obviously, the fact that, um, the first bodies that, that that were proved to have it, like, dated back and found there, it doesn't technically mean that it, it is the birthplace, it just means it's the first, like, the oldest place known to have it, but it is kind of crazy that that is the place that's known to have it, like, yeah. It's, it's one of those weird things that um, I never thought would <laughs> be something I'd be uh, seeing, but... Don't you lob bombs at me, you cheeky little shit. You cheeky little shit. Ooh, yeah, we'll do a haunted chest, thank you. No death certificate this time. We've gone on an absolute train of getting lots and lots of death certificates, so if we'd have gotten another one there, that would have been kind of insane. Boom. Swipe ya. Boom. Get a little fart cloud, baby. But yeah, I know there's going to be people out there that are uh, playing only Revelations at the moment. But yeah, for me, I, I, I think that I'm my channel is fairly unique in the mega modded series that we do. I know that other people do do mods out there, but like. We, we play with a lot of them and a wide variety and stuff like that, so I really like that. Um, and I don't want the channel to lose that. And at the moment, Revelations was causing me to lose that because I was having to disable so many mods. Mod Revelations is fantastic. I just couldn't justify losing all of my favorite mods for it. Bit of Akeldama here. And then Thunder Thighs. We do not have the speed to take Thunder Thighs. Nor do we need the HP, so that's going to be a big fat no-no for us. Right, let's go open up that golden chest that's here. Let's go this way first, though, and see what's up here. We are getting a little bit close to enemies every now and again here. The Sackhead spawned a host. He spawned a host as well. It's just rude. Just Rude. I'm liking the keys that are getting dropped though. Damn it. Missed with the photo this time. I don't know how strong Akeldam is going to be for us, but it is kind of useful. I do like having it. It is rather nice. Grab that key. Grab that penny as well. And yeah, also there's still just a lot of fiend folio to experience. When dead respawn as fiend. I mean, why not? Like, we don't need it, but it doesn't feel like a bad thing to grab. Two to four curse pennies. Jack of diamonds. Jack of diamonds. That was a bit delayed there, but thank you nonetheless. Right. Let's clear out some of these extra rooms. We've also got a secret room there we can go for. Give me a fat bat. Eh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't quite reach him. More bombs is lovely to go for. But yeah, it'd be interesting to hear what other people, um, other people 
have in terms of folklore around where they live. I know not all places have it. So if, if not, maybe it could just be your favourite one. But I, I do remember, um, like, in a Minecraft episode from a while back that me and Never Named were recording. I do need to get back to doing some more Minecraft with Never Named. It's a lot of fun. Um, I just haven't done any in a while. Um, but yeah, the space is still going to go back up. Okay. Um, yeah, we were talking about um, Golemancy because, like, a lot of the, the, the mods and stuff have Golemancy as part of them. I never knew that Golemancy was, like, a Jewish thing. Like... The, the Golemancy is part of the, like, Jewish folklore. We are losing a lot of health, you need to be careful. Yeah, I never knew that. Um, guess we'll take this. Not quite sure what this is here. I guess I'll check it out. Bold Fairy. Heals to full. Item um, will be used automatically on fatal damage. That's, that's nice, but it's unfortunately just not very useful to us, because I just... I have to say, I don't think I'm going to die. And even if I do, I've got a Fiend respawn. So, not a big problem. I mean, with the amount of damage I'm taking right now, there is actually a chance I do die, because I am taking an extreme amount. But, as you can see there, we're getting health back here and there. Do not worry. Yeah, there's a lot of things like that, I think, that originate from folklore that you don't really think about. Like... Um, for, for the longest time, I didn't know that Slenderman was, like, a folklore thing. Like, obviously, Slenderman got really big. It was, that was kind of a weird time, actually, wasn't it? That was, like, a, just a very strange period in time where, like... Ooh, I will take this. The camera's not been super useful, so I'll take this. Um, ooh, and I'll definitely take Crack Crown. Thank you. Doesn't do much for us right now, but later down the line, a doubled Crack Crown could be pretty awesome. Um, yeah, that was kind of a weird period in time, wasn't it? When, when, when was that? That was, like... 2010 sort of time when just everything and everyone was like really buzzed about Slenderman. There was like games about it and like creepy pastas and like videos and stuff. Weird time. Um, yeah, I didn't really know what it was, but yeah, I didn't know that it was a folklore thing. Apparently, it was like a I don't know, was it German maybe? It might not have been German, but it was like a folklore thing to like scare kids away from going out on their own. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty pretty savage, to be honest, the way that they described it. So, from what I understand, Slenderman was this, like, slender creature that, like, walked around the, the woods at night and would steal children and eat their genitals. Um, apparently that was the, the sort of main, the main thing that he did, which is very odd. From, from what I heard, at least. I may be very, very misinformed, and I kind of hope that I am, I'll be honest. Um, oh my god. Having a hard time with this guy right now. Dude, this ball won't leave me the fuck alone. Okay, and we got golden flakes. Lovely. Lovely. Eh, golden bomb, go away, please. Carry on going down. Definitely more keys here. Um, but yeah, it was just like a, a, a tail used to scare children into like not going out alone at night sort of thing and staying safe. Um, and it just got turned into this big thing where like... Yeah, there was that Slenderman game. I actually, no one will ever see this because it, it, it pr pretty much doesn't exist anymore. But people probably don't know this. and maybe, pro Probably because I've literally never revealed this information ever. But my first ever YouTube video I ever created was me playing the Slenderman game. Um, that was on my first channel that ever existed, which was... Um, called like Mad Bomber 20 or something which used to be my PlayStation name um don't think it exists anymore I've not used it in a long time and I definitely know there's no videos on it anymore even if it does uh, what is going on with Akeldama right now it is having some issues Akeldama is such a laggy item <laughs> I this is crazy I can't games like slowing down like crazy because it's just sucking in all my Akeldama seeds go away leave it alone I don't know also why they're white now I don't know what happened with that Lovely and gold. Right. Keep on taking out you fellas. I'll keep using this. Try and get more trinkets. But honestly, the trinket we've got right now is very good. Oh, this, this doesn't give you flight. For some reason I thought it did. That was a waste. 
slightly annoying room design for us here. It is what it is. God damn, this guy is taking a long while to kill. To be fair, we really don't have great damage. This is taking a very long time. Okay, there you go. Finally took care of you. Please, can we get an item that gives us an insane amount of keys, please? That'd be very, very nice. But yeah, I, I I did have another channel on YouTube when I was a lot younger, before the Turtle Melon one, um, where I created a few like gameplay videos. I did a few Overwatch videos. I did a few Call of Duty videos. Um, like I said, my first ever video was on Slenderman. Um, I, I must have been like... 13, maybe? Spawns one golden sack instead. The heck? But I like that though. But I just I just haven't had any things that increase my stats yet, which is surprising, but true. Um oh, wrong room. <laughs> I bombed and I'm like, why didn't I get that there? Wrong heckin' room. We could get a new trinket here. Um, oh, I just used a key on that. There was no point. I mean, it, technically, it's not a complete waste because I can give you one of those and then give you one of these. And you gave me a huge rock. Thank you. Super useful. Yeah, there was no reason to use a key there. Oh, just an arrow into a golden poop. We already have a lot of money. Game, right now this is not what I need. I don't even know if I can be bothered to uh, traipse around after this golden penny. Nah, doesn't matter. I think it actually ended anyways. Uh, right. Is there much else we want to do on these floors? Don't really think so. I mean, I guess it's worth... Um... Oh, God. Doing the rounds here. I keep thinking why are we getting so many flies, but we actually do have a- uh, still do have two rotten hearts. Two rotten hearts can be pretty useful, so do not mind them. Still don't really know what the little ragey red flies do. We haven't even been to this item room yet. We haven't been to either of our item rooms yet. God damn, we need keys so badly. So badly. There's so much on this floor that we haven't done. <laughs> I am stupid, to a major degree. Um, Slots and Beggars animate faster spawn three pickups around Isaac when face picking up, I mean. That was more than three, because that was doubled, so that was very nice. <laughs> that is not what I was expecting, but holy hell, I will take it. Ooh, I should not have hit that guy. I'm gonna bomb my way out of here. I apologize, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little spooky. I uh, I hit that dude and it was immediately like, oh shit, I forgot it was you. Oh no no. <laughs> oh no no. Right, let's go back and find our other item room, which... Wait, what? Is this not an XL floor? Am I dumb? Was that last floor? I think that was last floor. Oh god. I am dumb. Honestly, I will definitely take... I will definitely take this. Like... The, the, the Cracked Crown is fantastic. We don't have any stat upgrades right now, and we're getting so many chests that we can't open. I feel like this has to be the way. Ow. My god. My inability to have foresight and not be fucking stupid. Spend the extra one second going around the rock. Ugh. I have lost quite a lot of health to, um... Relative idiocy. Little chest is actually pretty good. That can give us trinkets, that can give us um, keys, it can give us hearts. Ooh, there's a tinted rock over there. Gimme, gimme. Really hoping we get one of the uh, bespoke synergies for this guy during this run at some point. But with so many modded items involved, it's not always going to happen. Shoppy, shoppy. Arrow cloth, the nice. The implant. 
I mean, we might as well take the Emperor, why not? Could save us some time later down the line. Right. Back, 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 back to the box. Right. Should get a lot of red chests on this next floor here. I didn't realize we hadn't done the boss yet, I'll be honest. I completely forgot. I am both, like, just stupid. We definitely need more, uh, more damage items. Right now, we are really lacking in damage and fire rate. We've, like I said, we gained neither of those. Oh god, you have spectral. You fired right over those blocks. I'm a little stuck here, I'll be honest. But you stay back. It seems to be that, um... This is a good way to kill this guy. Honestly, I might have to get rid of Akodama. It's doing some really weird things. Creating a hostile work environment. Binky's rather nice here for that fire rate. Another guppy item, I like it. Whatever the hell this is. Tears, 15% chance to fire a confusion. Tear after completing the boss fight. Uh, all completed normal rooms on the floor become uncompleted. It can be rebeaten for more rewards. That sounds really cool. And then I guess we'll take this to activate um, thingy. There you go. And then we get a bunch of stats. Okay. Feeling a little better about everything right, right about now. Cool. So we want to we wanna beeline it to the boss and then redo all the rooms, I guess. I mean, it, the, the, it means the run could take a lot longer, but I don't really mind that. Although this is not the floor to be doing that on, actually. Good. Yeah. Actually, Guppy's eye with these red chests is a really nice touch. I didn't even think about that. Oh, we actually have flight now as well. Huzzah. On fly, you go, you go die die. Broken syringe, no thank you. Still need a bit more damage though. Damage is still really not very good. Also, yeah, uh, ooh. Damn, something wicked is going wrong. Um, one second. Let me just minimize the game so I can take a screenshot of that. Holy hell. Okay, one second. Okay, let's continue onwards. Yeah, that, that was that was kind of crazy right there. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, let's let's go remove Akel Six four one. I don't want this item anymore. Be gone, thought. You are causing me too many, too many legs. Oh my god, we can bash these things around like crazy. Yeah, this guy might be a problematic one because he does bounce around a lot. Yep. <laughs> Let's not worry too much about my current health, though. My current health is not a problem. Holy hell. Use our speed boost for the last little bit here. Remove one broken heart. Using an activate and teleport to Isaac. Oh, that's just broken remote. <laughs> the the golden version of broken remote is pretty insane though. It got it got uh, an, a a new addition in the most recent repentance update. Where now it um whoa that guy went backwards very far. Uh, where now it makes it so that it uh, turns it into golden um teleporter, like the golden remote, whatever you're gonna call it. And yeah, so you can get some teleports like the devil deal and um to the error room and stuff using it which with like an infinite use active is insane okay that room took longer than it should have done uh, i was really hoping the red chests would would help pay out with um oh a helper would help pay out with a few um, soul hearts and such, but so far that doesn't seem to have been the case at all. We need to make sure we don't pick up a red heart also. I accidentally took a health up pill, which in hindsight isn't actually very good for us. Alright, we've got plenty of money. Let's try and get some soul hearts out of this.
Okay, that'll do. We'll just bomb you now. <laughs> hey, we got one of these hearts. Oh, the world is pretty nice here. Let's uh, grab that and use it. Gotta love it. Don't think that'll do anything for us with it being doubled. Let this hand to come down and be a meanie. Oh, that's a new hand. I didn't realize that. That's cool. Not what I was expecting, but cool. Ooh, what an item. What an item. I love Curse of the Stars. It's both horrible and amazing. Hides all of our items, but generally gives us better quality items. I like that. I, I like that risk. Definitely the melee aspects of this character are getting me hair, as they would with the Forgotten. I tend to uh, way overplay the melee aspects of the characters. Gutsy Baby is just Akeldama in another form. Great. hell's that? Poop grids, what? Poop grids um, have a chance to be converted into shampoo. Shampoos have better drops. Eh, that's not super good this late in the game. I'll definitely take another wild card here. Yeah, nice. Need to be using our active a lot, lot more. Damn these devil chests not giving me anything. Right, let's stay hell the hell away from this hand this time, because that was a very brutal hand. <laughs> okay, it just kills itself. That's good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that either. More spiders. Give us soul hearts for once, please, game. But then this hand takes a long time to hit the ground. This could be good, potentially. Hey, there's a burn heart. Oh, we don't want to fill it though, actually. Uh, not super useful, actually. All right, what we got in our shop? Hey, that is Mr. Me. Mr. Me much better for us right now. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think I'm gonna take Mr. Me. Allows us to steal some stuff. I like stealing. Okay, that burn heart's gone already. Things aren't going so hot for me right now, are they? I just need more damage. My damage is just not good. Like, that is the, that is kind of the problem with having as many mods as I have on the add items. Is you do tend to get a lot... Like, the, the balance of items is kind of swayed to more funky and weird stuff than things that help you deal damage in terms of pure stats. So you kind of lose out on a lot of your pure stat upgrades. It causes problems. Or at least it can. It doesn't always. Right. Taken care of. Beautiful. I guess we'll just take the Polaroid here. And... Here, we'll have him steal this. Oh, I didn't bloody steal it. In that case, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> really bad idea, I realise that now. Don't worry about it. Um, oh, there's all, the, there's all the rooms that have been uncleared for us. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I took this in a, in a just terrible idea. A moment of stupidity, but... We got more of the void out of it, so as long as we don't completely balls this up. Wait, how, why is it taking so long to charge more of the void? G g give me a damn soul heart, just once in your life game. Goddamn, Gutsy Baby is confusing the hell out of me. God damn, more of the void is to... Excuse me? Okay, we're the fiend now. Um, Why did it hit me while I was over the rock? I feel personally offended by that. 
Also, more of the void is just not doing anywhere near enough damage. Our damage is doo doo. Absolute doo doo. It's just not doing enough at all. Smelt one random trinket onto you. Not great, but I'll take it. Oh god, tack enemies. And those tacks stay there too. That's 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 good to know. Yeah, I don't know what to feel about this run now. I played it risky because I knew I had the revive, but I wasn't expecting to have to use it this early. Oh damn. Okay, I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna pretend that I never had that fiend revive and that I died there and then. Because I'm an idiot. But that was a lot of fun. Um, I hope that next time we play as Sam Samuel. Sam I don't know how the hell to pronounce his name. Someone tell me. S Samuel? 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 Sam Samuel? I, I have literally no idea. Anyways, very fun episode because, like I said, like, unfortunately, we can't continue the run. I think that's because of um, us responding as Fiend. Either way, yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, hopefully... Hopefully, the stability is a little better than this in the next episode, but we're going to play it as the Punish in the next episode. That is a really fun character um, that's basically all around not shooting at all. Got a lot of interesting synergies and stuff like that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.